<laughs> he should have just done it again. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> We're telling nine funny, weird, and awkward stories. Okay, my first one is from last year. I was in Ooh. LA class and I went to sit down, okay, and this kid named Chris, he decides to move my chair out from underneath me. I almost fell, but I didn't. And so I went to say that I would hit him and I would slap him at the same time. You know how my mind put those two words together? I said, I will strip you. What did he say afterward? I don't remember. I think he kind of just like ignored me and went back to doing his work. <laughs> Never talk to me again. <laughs> you know what? You know what? He like shut it down. He should have just done it again. <laughs> Sixth grade. Um, I was in class and it was with like my homeroom teacher and a few friends of mine. I remember saying like, hey mom, can I get this paper? And so with a lot of people that have been in school before, it's uh, unusual to hear somebody accidentally call a teacher mom. Nonetheless, it's still really embarrassing. So the teacher looks at me, she like, without like a split second, and says, you can call me mom. <laughs> I was so scared. I was, I like, I just sat down and I was like, never mind, no paper. And like, Angie just looks at me and she's just like, she looks so concerned. Yeah, that was pretty scary. So, there's a story that we share. It's about my birthday this year, actually. We went to a hotel in New Hampshire. It's such an inside joke, too. And I had one of my other friends there with us, and we all stayed the night. And so we got KFC for dinner, but we did not have enough finger spoons. Good. <laughs> my friend decided to go out without me, so I followed them. So my sister followed me. They got the spoon, and then we were walking down the hall, and my sister and I started fighting. So they pulled us apart, and so we were being sort of loud. And it was kind of late at night, maybe like 8 o'clock. And we were walking back down the hall after my sister and I were pulled apart. And this guy comes out of nowhere. He's like a security guard or something. He just like, it was like, it's quite a, quite a clock. <laughs> so hard to like keep a straight face. And the thing is, we were like at the bottom floor, and it was near the pool, and it was near the uh, the kitchen or whatever. And so there was only one place that he could have came from when we were going to the kitchen back to our room. He the only place he could have came from was the bathroom. And the thing is, that would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Just to have a security guy <laughs> wait in the bathroom just to see if anybody would make loud noise. And that's what my thought was because I also know. Well, because I was distracted, and like just the way he said, "It's quiet time, past the o'clock." Like he was so smart. Friends, like, they also make that joke that too. Take my mom or something? Maybe I'm sorry. <laughs> Too lazy to go downstairs to talk, to, like, tape your mouth. <laughs> At my house, we have, you know, mail. We have a mail lady. And so she comes every, like, Saturday around 2-ish, and I rollerblade at 2 o'clock on Saturdays. And so my legs are really, like, at the time, they, like, were really bad. What I would do is eat a banana on Saturdays because bananas help your legs. So I thought my stepdad was walking up to the door around that time, like, so... I was gonna be like opening the door, and so I did. And I said, I saw you coming because I thought it was my stepdad walking up. And so I was like, I saw you coming. <laughs> and it turned out it was like the mail lady. And so she just stared at me for a minute. She's like, What? So I slammed the door. I screamed, Whoa. Sorry. I screamed, Sorry. And I ran up the stairs because I was like so like embarrassed <laughs> that I made like such a stupid mistake. And so my mom's like, Why are you yelling? And she's like, and I said nothing. And like, my brother was in the living room at the time, so he saw what happened. He saw what I did, and he's like gossiping to my mom. A few weeks later, you know, my aunt had been told the story, and it was also Saturday at 2 o'clock. Funny. And so she was just hanging out at my house. We were, um, I was getting set up downstairs, and then my aunt's like, hey, Jaden, your stepdad's at the door. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, he probably is. What will you learn? And so I go to open the door, and then it's the same person, it was the same male. Not just a different person, it was the same person. <laughs> and then, like, I just slammed the door, and, like, this time I wasn't embarrassed, I was just mad, like, you know. 
Great, I get humiliated twice with the same thing. The only difference was the first time I was eating a banana, second time I wasn't. <laughs> and, yeah, now I don't answer yours. <laughs> and you got a new male person, right? Yeah, I did! <laughs> so, um, when I was younger, I used to be into prank calling a lot, so... I got in contact with this cranky old man, and I was like, hello! I was like, is blah 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 there? And they're like, no. And I like, proceeded to say whatever dumb, stupid, corny thing I had planned out in my mind. And then I said, I'm calling the cops on you. <laughs> I'm captain you. <laughs> and I probably would have like, thrown the phone and be like, oh my god, the FBI is coming! <laughs> Dude, this one time, um... Uh, I was younger, I didn't know what an email was, and so I walked up to Jacob, and I'm like, hey, do you have an email? Because I really wanted to play this game, and, like, at the time, I had, like, a really old PC, and it was at my dad's house, because he's, like, a computer fanatic, and so, you know, he made computers and that sort of thing, and I had an old PC that he made. And so I was like, hey, Jacob, do you have an email? And it was one of those, like, 3D, <laughs> like, not necessarily role-play games. It's like Wizard 101. Like, super secret or something like that? Yeah, it's like that, but um, I don't even remember what <laughs> it was called. But it was, like, it was basically, like, the same kind of setup. It was 3D. You could um, contact people. You had mini missions. It was that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And at the time, like, it asked for an email before you could download it. And I was like, hey, Jacob. Do you know what an email is? He's like, yes. I'm like, do you have an email that I could borrow? Because, like, I didn't realize you could just set up your own email. So I wanted to borrow somebody's. I was, like, like third or fourth grade. Maybe second grade. I don't know. I was really into games then. And so, um, he's like, no, I don't have an email. But I know dad's email. <laughs> and so I type in my dad's email. I didn't understand what an email was. I just figured, you know, it was some sort of secret website for adults <laughs> or, like, Jacob's. And so, I um I I put in the email, and so I download the RPG game or whatever, and I'm having so much fun, and then I'm like, oh, oh crap, what if my dad sees this game on my computer? <laughs> God, what if I didn't do my homework? You know that kind of thing. I was like very um I was actually a pretty decent kid then. I was a brat before, but I was a good kid then, and so. Uh, I went off my computer, and I pretended that, you know, I didn't download an RPG game or whatever. Oh, gosh. And then, as I said, I didn't know what an email was. So my dad gets the email that I got this game. <laughs> and I didn't know this about this game. You have to pay for it. Oh. And so I downloaded the game I already played, and so that means it had to be paid. And so uh. my dad comes home from work, and he's like, I hear him going up the steps, and I'm like, oh, God, he knows. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was just watching TV, oh and I'm like, Oh, God. He found out. I don't know how he found out, but he somehow miraculously <laughs> did after I sent an email to him about the game. And he's like, uh. <laughs> I was like, Oh, God, he knows. Jacob, you sold me out, didn't you? I remember screaming, Jacob's a liar. <laughs> he's like, I didn't ask Jacob. I got the email. And that day, I learned what an email was. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, I cannot wait to edit this video. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, those were like our ten stories. I'm pretty sure we told more or less. <laughs> I'm a very storative person. Well, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, like and subscribe. Well, thanks for watching.